wanted to share with you my new um, mini album and little drawer system here that I made. And I used the paper collection from Graphic 45. It is the Mother Goose. Um, this pad was really, really cute and really fun to work with. And in here we have a little drawer, which also holds an album. And I used my cinch for this one. So here's the inside of the drawer. And here's the bottom. I just added some little uh, wooden feet here. Here's the back. And this will actually lift this up. This pops up. And then you put your album on here. Sorry if I'm out of frame. But I, I thought it turned out really, really cute. So, you know, I can hold an album up here and I can also have an album in the drawer here. So, to get started here, I'll show you the first little album. Oh, and here's the front of this. I added a little um, flower here and a couple of little pearls. And then this is just a die cut that I have. And then I pop this image up and kind of twirl the edges here, curl the edges. Okay, but this is the first album. And I made this album very, very simple. Um, I wanted it to lay flat. And as you can see, it will lay flat. Very flat. Okay, but here on the front, I just added some uh, bling pearl pieces here to the corners. And this right here, I just made a little tuck spot. So either I can put a picture here, or I can flip it over and have this image. Or I can flip it over and write a little bedtime story here. But then on the inside, I pop this up on a little um, jiggly thing. And then I cut this out and just kind of, you know, rippled it a little bit. And then I just made the pages very plain. And this is just a tuck spot here with a little um, cut apart. And here's another little image, another little cut apart. But I had a lot of fun creating this album. And this, I added another little springy piece back here and a little flower up here. And then the back of it is just plain. And the side of it, I added these little, it's a cut apart, it's um, stamps. But then on this little album that I done with my cinch, I fuzzy cut the mother goose out. I added some Wink Stella to her feathers here. I'm not sure if that's going to pick up. But I also added some Wink Stella to the book. And then this little Mother Goose image. I kind of rippled it. I also added some little uh, pearl bling pieces. And you open it up here. Have a little booklet. A little pocket here. I left this pretty plain as well. You know, I wanted this to hold pictures. You know, I don't want it to have like a lot of frillies on it. And I wanted it to hold, you know, a good amount of pictures. But here's just a little pocket. And I fuzzy cut this. Or, it's cut it out. Um, there will be no tutorial for this. You know, this took me a couple of days to create, and I had a lot of fun creating it, but, you know, there was a lot of work put into this, and like I said, I will not be doing a tutorial. I apologize. And these, these are just, you know, little songs 
that, like I said, I had cut apart. And I thought they would be cute just tucked in here. And also, each one of these, you know, you kind of journal here. Or, you know, add a photo. And back here, I just added a couple little stamps. And here's another pocket with an, another little booklet. It's plain on the inside. And on the back of it here, I left it plain. My little tabs here, I'm not sure if I'm going to write, you know, the um, infant years or the, you know, one to four or five to six, you know, or birthdays, holidays, you know, I'm not sure what I'm going to write on there. So I left those plain for right now. But like I said, this was so fun to create and I had a lot of fun with this paper pad. And I hope you all enjoyed this, my video and my creations here. And thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.